Hello, this is Reg with EarthX Lithium Batteries. I'm going to show you how to properly reset an EarthX battery that's been over discharged. Over discharge, that means is you've drained the battery down to a very low level and the internal protection has activated. What our EarthX battery will do is, at an extremely low level, it's like a switch inside, it shuts off. What you will notice when you take a reading is you will notice the voltage is zero. With a good quality meter like this Fluke, it's going to read almost exactly zero. Other meters may be slightly different, it might float around. So both these batteries are over discharged and the over discharge protection is activated. If you're using a battery charger like Battery Tender that checks for the voltage prior to charging, it will not charge. You can see here it is flashing red. Put a battery to battery jump, or in this case, much better, is to use an EarthX jump pack. We're going to connect the EarthX jump pack to the battery with the charger. And as you see, the battery tender begins to charge. Solid light indicates that it's charging. Now you may have to leave it here for 10 15 seconds, and that light should stay on when we would remove the jump pack from the battery. It's about 10-15 seconds on this one and when we remove the jump pack you can see the charger is still charging a solid red light. It may take a few more hours but this battery will be charged up ready to go. The second method and the preferred method is used to use the Optimate Lithium Battery Charger. This is the TM471. First you have to connect the charger to the battery. This is very important. You indicate there's no lights on. Second step is to plug it into the wall. When you plug it in, you should see the green light come on and then the save light. The save light indicates that this battery is in a low state of charge and it's going to slow, charge at a very slow rate to, to optimize the, the battery recharging. So it will stay in this save mode for up to a couple hours. Once the battery voltage gets above 12 and a half volt, it will switch to the charge, regular charge mode, which is the light on the right side there. If after five minutes, the save light goes out, you will need to attempt this again. To do that, you'll just go and unplug it. You have to wait 15 seconds or so, so that all the lights go out. And then you'll plug it back in, and it should go back into the save mode. Okay, it's back to the save. So after it moves from save mode to charge, take another couple hours, but the battery will be fully charged, ready to go.